Was a Peso Pluma concert worth it? Be real. Yo, welcome back, you guys, to another Cruda Realidad podcast episode. 45, baby. Dang. We're back. It's Wednesday 45? today, though. 45? 45 oh weeks straight. How many, year, how many years? How many <laughs> weeks are in a year? 54? 56? 56? One of those. I don't know, but... Anyways, let's address the big elephant in the room right quick before mm-hmm. we continue with today's uh, podcast. What's up, babe? What's going on? Right now, um, wait, first of all, shout outs to Lily Bay because once she says something, like I said before, she's going to do it. And she literally transformed this uh, podcast set into summer vibes. Yeah, super quick. Yeah. Super quick. Last minute, I ran to Five and Below. Shout out to my sister for showing me that store. Um, and there is a few more things that I'm waiting on, but they just haven't gotten here. Even though I ordered it a long time ago, <laughs> Kathy. I'm not even going to say no. Oh, the palm kidding. tree, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I put in this palm tree in here real quick, but guess what? Okay. It has like bugs on it. Oh, my God. The <laughs> thing you love that. most. <laughs> well, this is my outside palm tree. I kind of let it die. forgot about it. Whatever. Really because did. I used to love it. It was so cute in our old apartment with all the lighting. And once we moved, she just was not having mm-hmm. it inside the house at all. So I moved her outside. And every time we do that to plants, they kind of like, They're like Whoa, go, they go through going a shock on? and they kind of die off and they come back. So w- once she died off, I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about that plant no more. I'm just going to let it die. But no se moria la way. So one day I'm like, all right, let me go water it. Poor thing. So I go water her and she's growing a little bit, but. I kind of, I don't know. Once they start dying off, I'm like, man, I don't yeah, want you Yeah, you give no up more. on them. But, babe, on, nobody um, cares about your plants. Oh, sorry. Stuff. Anyway, sorry. I'd be, like, <laughs> moving on. But, yeah, you guys, we are officially in summer at the Gruda yep. Realidad podcast. And I wanted to create it, like, the beach vibes. Literally, our beach chairs. Literally, mm-hmm. my beach, uh, what do you call this? Cooler. Book bag slash cooler that I bought from. What is it from? Mm-hmm. It's from Brewmate. 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 I yeah. saw it one time on a Facebook ad and I was like, <gasps> so, that's genius. It, it literally has like, oh, you don't have them on. It literally has backpack, sh- pa- backpack straps Yeah. for us to um, go to the beach with. And I've used it a few times. Um, yeah, that one's badass because um, you wait. could just throw a full drink in there or some beers. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we do a mixed drink and it has a little pour hole in it. But Amanda was like, you better not get that pink one because I'm not going to drive around. Oh I mean, I'm not going to walk around with, with your pink cooler. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. It makes no he sense, guys. Why would you cooler? buy a pink one? Because it's cute. If I'm going to have to carry it. Because for me, it's that my drink. No and you don't even like pink. Oh, my God, oh yeah, okay. Right. But yeah, you guys, aside from all that, <laughs> cute though. Um, we did all this. Well, Lily Bay did all this setup, right? Um, and then Jesus is like, you know what? Y'all want summer vibes? You I'm going to give you get. summer vibes. <laughs> and what's, what happened yesterday, babe? Se chingo like Yesterday, we're about to record this podcast that came out today on Wednesday. Um, Correct. And I come in here in the room, you know, set up and turn the AC on and then go do my stuff. I'm like, let let the room cool down. Y todo el pedo. Next thing you know, the AC no sirve. <laughs> I was struggle. like, damn, babe. I was like, no pasa nada. Let me call an AC guy. He's going to come and fix it. And by tonight, which is today, it'll be ready. Nada. Nada. No sirve. Nada. So, so we got to get a new one. We got to get a new one. We got a whole new system to do here but in the podcast are room. Yeah, they are expensive. So you guys so. got to watch our, our podcast. Don't skip, Don't skip the, the ads, ads because we got a new AC <laughs> we unit need that we got to buy. Yeah. Um, no, nah, but honestly, are, you're really going to put a new one, right? You have to because it's the yeah. Vale. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get this fixed. The guy's going to come next week. Um, So we got to thug it out for the next two weeks. Oh this week, what? next week. Um, until he comes and fix it, unless we get a podcast recorded somewhere else in another and, location. And yeah. it's been super hot. Oh my God. I have my house at 69. And you know what it's at right now at night? 76. I don't understand. That's Florida. Upstairs? Florida. Upstairs. Seven. Downstairs Damn. it stays cooler, but upstairs, yeah. Yeah. I literally be dying. Literally Florida is no joke. With the heat. Um, but yo, soy, yo soy bien exageradita when it comes to the heat, right? Bro, bro. <laughs> like, this girl, oh my God. She gets hot, like, así de volada. But then she gets cold, así de volada. Yeah. Like, your temperature gauge in your in your nah, body nah, 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 doesn't, nah, nah, nah. like, regulate correctly. Nah, you gotta go get that check. I get hot. I get hot all the time. Hot. And cold. 
When do I get At cold? the warehouse, you'd be like, oh, it's cold. It's hitting me. It, the AC's hitting Bro, me. Bro, <laughs> at the warehouse, the AC hits directly to my face. I've been trying to change that seat. I told no you. Quieres. Okay, yeah, babe. No nos peleamos aquí en el parque. <laughs> no pasa nada. And talking about heat, um, it's going to be some heat this weekend. You ready for this weekend, babe? Oh, my God. It's going to be so lit. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. This weekend, we're going to be oh outside God. in Houston, Texas, which is actually... One of our favorite cities. Mm -hmm. No we, lie. We were going a lot at one, at one point, and then we kind of fell off. And now we recently went, and now we're going again. Right. So I'm super excited because we are. We have a whole itinerary for Damn, this it's weekend. bright in here. <laughs> I had my shades on. My bad. Go ahead. We have uh, our club night host, mm -hmm. which is our first club night host ever so we are super excited um finally today i was able oh my god i have to order my clothes mm. i just remember we leave in like I two hope, days i hope hopefully i remind um, you after this finally today i like it like soaked in and i was like yo this is literally the first time we are invited to do something like this we've done meet and greets but we've never actually been um like called on yeah. to host a whole club so i'm a little nervous because i've never done it i've gone to a few it seems pretty um cool like you just yeah. show up and get Party. lit with everybody right yeah um but i'm like i hope they don't put me on the mic or none of that but <laughs> nah, i think it'll be fine all right first thing first and it, this goes for you guys and maybe for you too nobody's gonna <laughs> hype you up more than yourself so I'm hyping myself up for this freaking meet and greet so much. Aye, aye, aye. I'm posting videos. I'm sharing all the content that they send to us. I'm just so excited for this because this is nuestro mero pinche mole. Yeah. Club hosting lit. for getting the first lit. time. Getting lit with you guys. On Sunday, we're going to be with you guys also. But I feel like on Friday, it's going to be more of a one-on-one. -on, -one, on Friday, for you know? sure, it's going to be more like like trying to get lit like yeah, with everyone yeah sunday is gonna God. be super cool yeah. también because everybody's sure. gonna yeah. be there uh, which I'm super excited for también because you already know Rockham always throws oh down my God. with, with Rockham, everything I'm, I, I don't have confirmation on this but I heard that there's gonna be Vanda that there's gonna be free micheladas for the first 800 people Dang. Chamoinito's gonna have the pickles he's gonna have the candies um, we're gonna have our merch out there so Two new shirts are going to be out there. Man, it's... Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this weekend. So yeah, excited. I'm also... Wait, before outfit. we move on from Friday, on Friday, we're showing up with a party bus with all our homies in there, and we're pulling up with, like, some music. I told the DJ, put some Peso Pluma, Bad Bunny, um, Nata El Cano, Fuerza Regida, like, all those vibes. And some hip-hop, too, for sure. It's yeah, going to be yeah. so lit. And también uh, Chamonito's going, my brother, mm -hmm. my cuñada, even Baby Luna. Rudy and Wait, Camila. not to the club, though, right? No, they're not going to the club. <laughs> but Rudy and Camila will be out there with their mom, aka my sister, mm -hmm. um, Yeral, uh, my cousins, Mary from the warehouse. Everybody's going to be out there. Um, yeah. And her sister hasn't, for the people wondering, because she was on the last podcast, her sister hasn't found a man. So if you're in I'm Houston in. <laughs> and you're looking for... Yeah, just go, just go, you guys. It's going to be lit. It's going to yeah, be lit. So yeah, so honestly, I didn't even know that everyone was going. Where Where was I? Uh, I was at, like at chilling party. at my tío's house yeah, and yeah. all of they were like That's all outside. Yeah. All of a sudden, Mando comes up to me. He's like, everybody's going. And, oh, no. Or Willie came inside. My cousin came oh, inside. Okay, okay. And he was telling Miriam, we're going to Houston. And I was like, what the hell are they going to Houston for? Like, random, you know? Never would I thought they were going because of us. Because yeah. they, they aren't the type to be traveling like that. And, and when they said it, it wasn't only them. It was my sister, the kids, their kids. Luna was going. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> There's like a whole family uh, reunion. Uh, reunion over there. <laughs> so I'm super excited that they're all going because they're going to get to see the amount of supporters and people that we hang out with and that love us and are down to freaking party with us. All right, so ya les dijimos, if you guys want to meet up with us, ya saben, Friday, Buena Vida, Houston, we'll be outside, and then Sunday at Rock'em. Una, una pregunta, I'm going to put mm. you on the freaking spot because that's oh what God. I do best. Top two, top three things that you're mo most excited for this weekend. Like, that just come to your head, like, this is what I'm most excited for. What are you most excited for? Uh, the party bus, like okay. clubbing. Okay. 
uh rock'em for sure mm -hmm. and getting my makeup done oh every shit day. every day you don't got to worry about that too <laughs> and your hair i can't do my makeup probably my hair yeah, too. that's lit that's lit yeah okay okay mm -hmm. that's what's up but yeah I'm it's gonna going be lit. super lazy vibes this weekend yeah it's so. gonna be lit we said lit like 10 times already but no pasa nada like i said yeah. nobody's gonna hype you up more than you are so i'm getting myself hyped yeah we're hyped. what else we're babe hyped what else about this weekend that's it that's uh, it let me think we said chamoinito we said we're gonna have merch at the rockham uh, meet and greet we didn't say that oh we didn't say that no oh go ahead tell them babe Dale, tú, okay well i'm know. taking um born pales madre so if you guys trying to save on shipping i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take all of our four new hats so you could try them on check them out taking new two new shirts taking for sure cruda and crudo merch because everyone needs a crudo and crudo sh cruda or crudo shirt yeah yeah um and yeah we're gonna be out there we're gonna have our little tent there with uh, miriam from the warehouse so if you want to meet our warehouse manager you can go check her out and if you can't make it to houston the vlogs are going to be so lit so stay tuned to our youtube stay tuned to our social medias let me drink water. um i'm gonna tell lily bay but I've said this probably like 10 times already, but we have to post more on Snapchat. Oh like, my that's God. where everyone is at. That. That's where everyone's at. We got to post right now. Ponerlo las pinches <laughs> pilas on Snapchat because. Wait, let me know down below yeah. what platform you guys use more mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Snapchat. Let yeah. me know down below. Yeah. Just pick one. What is your top? Yeah, and tell us why. Well, tell them, because I know why we think Snapchat is important. Like, like why well you think i think yeah, why yeah. do i think that because uh the last few meet and greets that we've done or or whatever yeah. picture we ever take with subscribers anywhere, yeah they always pull out the snapchat filters mm -hmm. why am i missing something i think I we are take missing my something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah they it. they pull up the snapchat app take a picture and the next person igual so i'm like there's something going on the snapchat that we got to check out and we got to be more on there so hay que poner las pilas estar en todo One menos more platform to post on. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but anyways, anyways moving on we already know everybody's going to houston what we're doing this weekend coming up but babe you need to tell them how was this past weekend? oh my god oh my god we have a full podcast for you guys about this what day was it last friday right yeah, yeah. peso pluma concert i'm gonna be real I really, really enjoyed Peso Pluma's concert. But I'm going to address the elephant in the room on TikTok. People said that the concert was too short. What would you think about that? I was too lit. I didn't even notice. <laughs> so, so you wouldn't know if the concert was two hours, one hour. You no, have no idea. I was fucking lit, you guys. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. too lit. I was having a blast. He sang all my favorite songs. Um, I have no complaints, honestly. No complaints. The only complaint, if anything, is that he started off a little slow for me. Like, when he comes out, I'm trying to fucking get lit. That fucking minute you put... You should have came out playing Ella by La Sola or something. You ate the fucking crowd wild. Mm, that's true. But no, he came out with his new songs first, no, which he I played, don't even know. He played one of his oldest songs, which was La Melena. Oh, not yeah, a, yeah, not yeah, a very yeah. known song. Like, you got to really be a Peso Pluma fan yeah, from yeah, back yeah, then yeah. to know that. Yeah, hey, But it's kind of a slow song, yeah, too. Yeah, it's yeah. not La like... La Melena. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Very slow. But then he went into his new songs, which we don't know right, at all. Right, don't know yet. Right? Uh, so that kind of has the crowd just, like, waiting around for the good stuff to come on. And for me, it's like, damn, you should hype us up from the yeah. beginning. That would make us want to keep fucking drinking. You could play that same song 30 times after that, and we're going to be so lit, we don't care, you know? Yeah, so but, he, he started with um, La Melena, and yeah. then he moved on to... Um, El Rubicon, which is his new song, like you said. And then from there, he went on to Soy El Velicon, which is the song that he kind of got known with. So, yeah, he's at that point, he's still not playing the lit, lit song. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Damn, you were, you were, you were observing the concert, yet, huh? Not yet, right? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I was literally just hearing it at the beginning, mm -hmm. remember? But, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, other than that, I want to say it was... It was cool. For me, it was cool. Um, believe it or not, I was super shocked with how well everyone ate as far as their outfits. There were so many people with all the vibes, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you guys freaking killed it. I saw all the vibes, all the Peso Pluma vibes. I saw the girls with the baggy pants. Oh, yeah. The guys swagging with their yeah. shades street and their chains, streetwear, which is a little rare because you guys know that I don't think there's ever been another Mexican event that I've gone to that that 
the people pull up with those vibes. I've gone to Carol G, Bad Bunny. Of course, they have that kind of streetwear vibe, but never a Mexican event. It's yeah. either tacones y, y vestidos or uh, like vaquero, vaquero right? Vibes, There's like yeah. no in between with the Mexican culture um, for a lot, right? However, for this event, it was totally the vibes, totally mm-hmm. the vibes. And I saw it from a mile away. I'm like, Peso Pluma is not on stage with Botas and a Tejana. He is, no, he's on stage with streetwear. So the vibes is streetwear, in my opinion, right? So I got on live and I was, you know, trying on some clothes and showing them what I was about to wear. And you were reading the comments. There was a lot of people not happy with my baggy pants. People were pants, like, huh? not the baggy pants, not the baggy pants. Change, yeah. change, change. But change, when change. we got there... What percentage was wearing baggy pants of the girls? Like 50 at least. At least. I mean, there was other girls wearing like, you know, something more conservative or mm-hmm. something they wear to like a regular baile, which yeah. obviously that's yeah. fine yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. obviamente you know? siempre va a haber un poquito de todo, but for that many people to stand out with baggy pants and just like yeah, I love it because vibes. he's able to set a trend like having people for to, the mexican community for the mexican community because we to, that's to something get out we don't of their do. comfort zone yeah. for a baile or yeah. that wasn't a baile a concert, concert but yeah which he's the first mexican to sell out the the arena here in what? tampa first one fourteen thousand people sure? yeah yeah fourteen thousand people when i turned the camera and i saw everyone in the background i'm like fourteen thousand people came to see this guy here that's in tampa badass. florida i'm like Yo, in tampa that's the night, ni, ni mexicanos right. like that but i was telling mando that i had friends that aren't even mexican there was colombians oh, yeah yeah um a few Puerto Ricans came up to us and it's so badass to see other cultures embrace the Mexican mm-hmm. culture because that wasn't a thing. Well, yeah. no, let me take that back. It was a thing for like the older, older generation, generation, like the, like, you know, you guys know I was raised in West Tampa. There's a lot of Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. That's how there is. They all knew who Chente was. Yeah. A, a few of them knew Johan Sebastian. Of the Norte. Yeah. So there's always been, the older generation that embraces the Mexican culture as far as the oldies. But for the newer generation, like growing up, middle school, high school, there was nobody our age that wasn't Mexican listening to Mexican yeah, music, right? Yeah, yeah. So when I saw my friends that were Colombian out there, they literally got a suite and everything. I was like, yeah. bro, <laughs> that's like dope. what a time to be a fucking Mexican. Yeah. Everybody, wait, is that, is no, that no, okay yeah, that I said that's that? Good, that's good. <laughs> because everybody um, is embracing repping, it right now, you repping. know? Yeah, and the cool thing I'm not moving away from Tampa yet, like not moving, but from that subject. But he actually went to Club Live, the number one nightclub in Miami. ¿Cuándo? That night. ¿Y after por qué no me invitó? When we were here. <laughs> Te wait, wait. So from Tampa, he went to no. Miami to go. Oh, I was No, from say. Tampa, the next day he played in, in South Florida, yeah, yeah, Fort yeah. Lauderdale. And that night he hosted at Club Live. So he was there? He was at Club Live. Pero me. So I'm so mad you didn't right know? now. What? No, he he showed up. I mean, it was awesome. You didn't see the videos? No, I'm gonna insert I've been the videos busy all freaking day of today. Club Live here, so you guys could check it out. Um, Peso Pluma shows up to this club. Let me tell y'all what how this goes down. I I'm used so to, mad because I used to I wanted to go. I used to work at the hotel that this club is at um fountain blue the number one hotel in miami yeah in that same hotel there's a nightclub called club live Correct. and this club doesn't host anybody like yeah. they have david getter they have rick ross they're, they're that of the type line. of club that you gotta wait around yeah. and the bouncer will call you and they only call the cute girls the cute guys right. um they're very selective you know so yeah with yeah, my like luck said, i uh-huh. only went in once because well that's the only time i tried but i literally waited in line Mm -hmm. and literally in line and the guy's like okay you go i'm like what the hell is this you know i was pissed but i didn't know which is fine Mm -hmm. they could do whatever they want because that's their club it's not the only club a lot of clubs down there do that so it's pick and choosing so yeah i'm there at the club whatever um fast forward to now uh now looking back i'm like there's no way that a mexican no I'm going to rephrase that. Back in the day, I would say, yo, there's no way a Mexican's going to play here. Yeah, Singing corridos. Not, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's a for sure like hip hop club. 100%. 100%. Hip hop or house music. Yeah, That's yeah. It. So Mexican music never. Like, a lot You're of even you, shocked right now, huh? Yeah, a lot of. I've, I've told you guys how shocked I was whenever I went to Texas clubs 
and California clubs that you guys or Arizona clubs have like a, a perfect combination mm -hmm. of everything. Uh, and even people that are not Mexican are used to a Mexican song popping up in the yeah. middle of a hip hop club. But down yeah. here, especially Miami, hell no, you never see that. Never in a million years do you see that. So I was checking out the videos and then bam, he's there. That's he, so crazy. He played like four songs, got on stage, which is not even the stage. Was it it's packed like a, or no? It was packed. I fucking hate it was my packed. life right now. They were singing Te Peso Pluma. When did you see this? For Saturday night. And you didn't show me? I did it. I thought no. I did. I even showed little Rudy, which he loves uh, Peso Pluma now. But um, damn, you, you made me forget what I was going to say. No, but I could just imagine how much Peso Pluma charged for this because they pay top dollar. So, yeah. That's crazy. That was amazing. I was super happy to see I'm that so happen. Right um, are you so mad right now? Yeah. I was like this close to buying tickets for Miami, you right? Were, you were. But mother was like, no, just wait till wait. I was at the concert buying tickets for Miami, right? And he was like, no, 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 just wait till after the club, after the concert. And I was like, okay. So then after the concert, since I kind of gave it a seven out of ten. Oh right, that was my next question. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna buy tickets for Miami. Fuck it, you know it is what it is, right? Yeah. But then when we were editing the the vlog, right. I was like, bruh, <laughs> I should have went to Miami because yeah. it was lit, it you was, know. But was. since I was so lit, like and, I forgot. In the cloud nine. <laughs> and now that you're telling me that he was he at club to, we would have totally gone yeah, to club. We would have been there, hundred percent. And they didn't like announce it before. Or I didn't what? see it. I didn't see it till he was there. Hey man, you're like the Miami boy. Well, I used to be the Miami boy, not Pinche no more. Mando. But yeah. All right, back to Tampa, you guys. All right, enough of Miami. I'm so mad at myself. I'm right gonna now. rate this concert a seven at a no six point five out of ten. What? And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm comparing it to other concerts, right? I'm comparing it to Vicente Fernandez or any other big concert I've been to, Jay-Z and things like that. That's what I'm comparing it to, and that's why I'm giving it a 6.5. Oh, comparing Espérame. it to all concerts overall yeah, that overall, you've ever been to. Overall. Okay. But let me step back. I'm going to confuse the shit out of y'all right now, but let me step back. I give it a 10 because he's a, a upcoming artist. He's literally... Not even one year into the game. He's definitely a 10. He showed a great show. He gave top energy. I liked the set that he had on stage. It wasn't like amazing like props, but the lighting was really good. The LED screens were really good. The but sound. for him to be a, a upcoming artist, 10 out of 10. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. But I'm happy for about the having, concert. You said for him having one album. Right. Uh, Almost one year all in the singles, game yeah right? all singles no wait one album that day that album came out yeah. so he really didn't have an album with yeah. people started buying tickets so i give it a 10 out of 10 out of that but compared but him to being anything an else, up and coming artist not even a year into the game you give so it a 10 out of 10. if you're a uh kind of on the edge there's a question to be like i want to go to peso pluma but should i what would you tell him I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah, right. I would do it again. You had a great, we had a great yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It was short. It was it short. It was short, but Mando stated earlier that he only has so many songs. Right. He doesn't do covers like all the other art, like Mexican artists no. know. Like, se les acaban las canciones and they start playing right. all everybody Traus else's. Licor. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't. He strictly plays only his music and that's it. And he only has so much yeah. music. So how much longer could he expand his music, his singing when he only has so mm -hmm. much, you know? So once he told me like that, I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, he could have played A.A. by La Sola 30 times and I would have been. We would have been, yeah, all of us would have been, been happy. Yeah, everybody would have been happy <laughs> as hell, you know? But I did have a homeboy that went and he was like, he was mad that he didn't play all his songs. Right. So was there a few hits that he didn't play yeah. or what? Yeah, Rapido, which is not really his song. Because that's like a cover. That's why he didn't play it. Mm. He didn't play. I'm sorry, guys. He didn't play um, Igualito a mi apa, which We're, we already know the drama. We already that. knew that. And we already were expecting that. So I wasn't mad at that. But can you imagine if he plays that song, how crazy the crowd would go? I can't wait for him to come out and say, yeah. I don't like J.O.P. or this is all bullshit. No, I, I, want, I want to hear something for him to say, you know? I feel like nunca se va a decir nada because have you noticed every time there's a controversy, they, ne they never clear say it out. like, yeah, they never yeah. clear it out. So I'm not even waiting on that. I'm just vibing to both. I like both and that's all to it. All right, babe. Here's a real question. Was the Peso Pluma concert worth it? 
Be real. Mm, hell yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Shit, go. I'll do it again. <laughs> El Azul Live is otro pinche Yo, pedo. Yo, wait till you guys otro see pedo. the vlog. So this vlog, we did it different because we, you guys are always telling us, you guys always make us feel like we're there. Like we love the vlogs when we go to concerts and stuff. So this time we were like, yo, let's really make them feel like they're here. And we totally took the time yeah. to, we totally took the time to make sure everything was recorded as nicely and smoothly mm -hmm. and not as <laughs> shaky and drunk as possible. For right? real. Yeah, we did really good. So I'm super excited. It was supposed to come out by the time we see this yesterday, but it's going to come out today, right? Today. Today yeah. is the podcast, and tonight Sheesh. is going to be Peso Pluma. So. Double work for Mando. You guys Mando already know. Pilas, because All right, babe. Um, when we come back for break, from break, I have a question for you. Are you Peso Pluma team oh or JLP God. team? But we'll be right back, you guys. Episode 45. We All right, let's go. Back. Let's go. Let's get it. Before we continue, let's. I know you guys probably think that I'm about to do the horoscopes, but Sobre todo mucho, mucho amor. something Desmadre. something new is coming, you guys. Something mm -hmm. new. You guys are gonna be super excited. I might as well tell you guys. Who am I kidding? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start doing all of the horoscopes because I've been getting a few people that we meet in person be like, bro, why do you only do a little mm -hmm. at a time? You be having me waiting. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, yeah, stop moving so much. All I hear is... My bad, I'm trying to warm up my seat. God. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start doing all 12 um, horoscopos de Durango. Just kidding. Next week, mm -hmm. um, they they are not going to be as long. I'm going to kind of trim them down a little bit, but for sure it's going to be all 12. Uh, so stay tuned for that part. And um, Mando has Mando. actually been looking for an assistant, which he has a few that he's been working mm -hmm. with to help with the podcast right. so we're gonna have all this down packed very with very no soon. excuses no excuses all i gotta do is sit my happy ass down yeah. and so you guys are wondering mando what do you need a assistant for for the podcast it's so easy they know b you fucking but i'm gonna tell y'all bro we be busy i have my head in six million other things so i could just imagine how better this podcast will be with an assistant and literally has all my notes ready and all this i just gotta go right here this is good somebody this sounds is a not. little excited this is good this is not okay delete this delete that okay bye let's get it let's record let's go okay yeah Sheesh. okay bye but yeah babe yeah uh -huh. yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Is my mic on hello hello yeah. okay I was about to say, I didn't see it. Imagine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys can hear us, right? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Happy Wednesday. Did I say it earlier? We're moving the podcast to Wednesdays, not Tuesdays. Wait, did we say that earlier? I don't know. Just in case we didn't. I don't think we talked about it. Let's talk about it right quick. Yeah. Like quick. Yeah. All right. We're moving the podcast, you guys. No more Tuesday. Cruz Aw. Aw. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. It's okay. We did 44 episodes. No. For the last few have been, let's say 40 episodes let's on Tuesday. 40, yeah. And um, the last few have been a little hard to get on Tuesdays until we came to a realization. We picked the worst day to right. put it. It is. Why? Because as you guys know, Mando and myself are always out of town. And every time we leave. 90% of the time. Yeah. Every time we leave, it's Friday to Monday. Mm -hmm. So usually we get back from our flights. It, sometimes it's 12, 1, 2 in the morning, and we sit on the podcast, record till 2, 3 yeah. in the morning. Mando sleeps for an hour, wakes up, and records to have it to you guys by Tuesday at 9 a.m. And I was like, why are you doing this to yourself? I was killing myself on for literally. For no reason. Literally, if I po when I was posting these vlogs, I mean these podcasts on Tuesday, yeah, because he would be super tired. Tired super all tired. day. I do it for you guys, like yeah, straight up. Yeah, and you guys know we came through with the Tuesdays every Tuesday, but for Mando's sake, yeah, we are <laughs> switching it to Wednesday. It just makes a lot more sense, just because when we are out of town, we're mm -hmm. scrambling, and then we're like, okay, if, if we if if we film it before like let's say th thursday before we leave by the time tuesday comes back around there's so much stuff that could have happened on the weekend that we could have talked to you so it could be more relevant that it wouldn't make no sense yeah for us to film that many days yeah. in advance so we're like okay the next be best thing is for us to just uh Change post it. on wednesday yeah. so from now on 
We are going to be Wednesday podcast. Wednesday podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what did you use? TCR? T- oh no, no. Oh, TCR. I was like, oh shit! I gotta change TCR, but not no, TCR. No, no. Is still good. <laughs> So yeah, spread of the words. We are going to be Wednesday at también a las nueve de la mañana. Wednesday nine a.m. All we're going to do is change it to twenty four hours. Um, actually got like ten messages today saying where's the podcast, where's the podcast. But Pinche I mano. typically post that I'm not posting. But some for some well, reason we were in my head, we yeah. were yesterday, yeah. but the Se AC didn't work. Se yeah. chingo el aire, pero no pasa nada. We'll that fix was it. God's way of being of just saying yeah, do. Just do it on Wednesday, yeah. right? Even though I'm gonna still have to edit tonight and make sure it's ready tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be zombie mode todo el día mañana, pero no pasa nada. Once again, I do it for you guys, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, right? Yeah. Uh, moving on. Did you hear about JOP from Fuerza Regida's new giveaway? Did you guys hear? Did you hear? Well, he's actually giving away a BBL. What the hell? He's giving away a BBL. All you have to do... <laughs> I'm about to sign up. All you have to do is post, um, uh, I guess, a dancing video or some kind of video of his new song, Sabora Fresa. And the one that goes the most viral is getting a free BBL on J.O.P. What the Let's hell? Let's freaking go. That's lit. This uh, Shadi Bay. I know Shadi Bay wants a BBL. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I think Shadi Bay is going to take it because she posts one video of her lip syncing viral. That's Six true. million views. So that's true. I I, I got my money on Shadi Bay. I think Shadi Bay is gonna win this. <laughs> Can you imagine the collab? Can you imagine if this is right and and we just oh unveiled something here? That's Shadi Bay is getting a BBL by JLP. When JLP. did he say that? He just posted this thirty six minutes ago. Literally what just posted the hell? it. So I was like, let but me see what's going on. Uh, yeah. What if somebody don't want a BBL? What if they want like their boobs? Well, or you. Oh yeah, that's that's true. No, but the giveaway is a BBL. It's not boobs. It's BBL. That's all you get. You can't be switching it around. Not you wanting to enter. But yeah, you guys. <laughs> let I'll me know down doctor, below. Pues ya que estás ahí, tú échame de todo. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Let me know down below what do you guys think about that. Um, moving on. He actually okay. released Sabor Fresa the day that Peso Pluma's album was released. <gasps> so I did not know that. He, he's, and wait, check this one out. In that video, he stomps on a spider with purple, which is Peso Pluma's color of his you know, album. You know why it's crazy to me? Why is it crazy? Because we've been watching JOP forever. Yeah. We've already seen him at least two times here in, three, in Florida. Three, three. I was counting them three oh, times. Oh, yeah. Three times here in Florida um, when he was with the Smoke Out Smoke Tours Out Tour, yeah. and when he was vlogging and pretty much since he started, right? Yeah. And he's always given off like super cool vibes, like humble, super chill. humble, super cool. And no se mete con nadie, and he's just doing his thing, trying to go viral, um, you know. So the fact that he's doing the most right now yeah. is a little shocking to me because he's, in my eyes, he's not that type. Right. And more so that Peso Pluma hasn't done anything in return. Now, if I would have seen Peso Pluma tirándole or something, I would have been like, okay, pues se tiene que defender, right? But I haven't, or am I mistaken? Well, Has I think he? you are mistaken because it's clear that he doesn't play igualito a mi But just for that, you're going to be that mad and, and do the most? And then it's clear that he didn't have Fuerza Regida in his album. Which Fuerza Regida's the you know they're fighting nah, for nah, number nah, one nah. spot. Why, why would you have why why would you have to have somebody on your album? I mean, I would. I think that I mean there you you kind of want to collab with the top trending people. But I'm gonna tell you guys here. I personally think that JLP is one of the best marketing dudes out there. Yeah, like the way he he, he does the most. The the way he collabs with everyone. He had Wilito on the boat. He had tiktokers on the boat for his new video yeah. like he knows exactly what he's doing yeah. remember he, that one time he like stopped the freeway yeah, that's what i was about to say oh my God, it, it, that went viral that yeah. went all over the news primer impacto Gorilla la flaca tiktok it was all over he's a marketing genius so for him to stomp on that spider that's just gonna create more hype create yeah. more branding create like kind of a separation but you don't think it's like know? in the wrong um like manner yeah, in the wrong way or the wrong, yeah. Nah, fuck it. Why? Do it. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like every time I, like, there's some influencers out there 
that they're they're the type and we've said it before um any marketing or any what is it any Exposure? publicity any publicity is good publicity right. which we've seen we've seen a million times how even if it's a bad move you you're they're still gonna get followers and they're still mm -hmm. gonna get more people so no matter how they do it what they do for the most part it always gives them some gains right, right? But I feel like in the long run, you also start getting a lot of hate, mm -hmm. too. So I'm like, damn, do you really want that? Like, is it is that worth the hate? Or, I mean, the hate's always going to be there, I guess. But right. um, I don't know. So, like, for us, like, do we got to do something bad like that? So <laughs> we could go, like, you I'm going to so create some beef with what? Jorge. I'm going to unfollow him. And I'm we're going to create dead. some good-ass beef. No, I'm just kidding. You know what I like, though? Like, not that I like, but I think it's cool. You mm -hmm. know, like, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, like, they were beefing. Now, Peso Pluma, Fuerza Regida, which are icons, our top artists right now. I think that's cool. It creates just hype. You did hype. say that earlier. It, I don't care for that. It creates a hype. I'm like, um, yeah, why can't we just all get, get along? along? I'm down for that, too. But pues, like you said, good publicity, bad publicity. At the end of the day, it's publicity. We're blowing up. Um, pues, top charts. Down below que tengo que hacer, so. Peso, <laughs> Peso Pluma's top chart, so they're fighting for that. But yeah, having all that said, are you you can only pick one. I don't care what you say. Get no both. No, no, no. <sighs> are JLP, you JOP? Team JOP or Team Peso Pluma and why? I would I guess if I had to choose the only reason it would be JOP is because he's been around longer. Mm -hmm. I know more most hits. of his songs, right. more hits. I like that he does covers with his own right. spin. Um, and he always had given me more humble vibes and stuff. Peso Pluma, I love his vibe and everything that he's doing. But I, I feel like I don't know him as a person yet. I haven't seen like many interviews with mm -hmm. him talking yeah. or anything. He doesn't really vlog or nothing. So... For all I know, he could be stuck up. True, you know? true. But well, we don't know the real, real Peso Pluma yet. We know the real JLP, 100%. Um, me, I am team JLP too. Why? Because, like you said, we know a lot of music of his. He's a marketing genius. Um, Peso Pluma is one game, one game, one year into the game. Yeah, he could be a one know? album wonder, for That's all it. we know. Um, another question, yeah, so we can move on from this subject. Longevity. Who do you think is going to be still here in 10 years or in 10 years or or you'll be able to tell your kids like our kids, my bad, like this is my favorite artist or, you know, who are they going to know? Who do you think has more longevity? Peso Pluma or Fuerza Regida or JLP? If I had a pick yeah. or I could say. No, who do you think is going to be here longer? Who's going to. Oh, you know? who's going to be here longer? Yeah. I think Fuerza Regida. Mm -hmm. So j j you think Peso Pluma is here for maybe a year more, two years, maybe five, but overall Fuerza Regida. Well, as we so Fuerza Regida is corridos and stuff, but they I feel like they give me more time. No, I feel like they kind of how do I say it? How do I say it? Culture? Yeah, I feel like they're more cultured and more and like the young people like them, the o the older people like them. They're they're more liked, you know. They kind of still do banda and stuff. Yeah. And then Peso Pluma is more like the newer generation, right? Like let's right. say Anata, yeah. uh, who else? Junior um, Ache or yeah. And as yeah. you guys all know, all these guys have had have had really really good uh, songs and years, and yeah. all of a sudden you don't even hear them no more. Mm -hmm. So that's, I'm comparing Peso Pluma to them in that sense, you know, okay. that he's, his music is different, you know, his vibe is different. So usually the culture of the Mexicans, we don't really like that. We like more, tr the, the stuff that sticks around is usually whatever is as close as to traditional mm -hmm. as possible, you know? Gotcha. All right, you guys, if you guys notice something weird is that <laughs> camera one, Lily Bay's angle completely turned off Aww. the camera got too hot it's too freaking hot in here already it really is. Your like we said are getting red. <laughs> like we said our ac fucked up so we're trying to and we're still outside doing yeah this yeah for you. we should have did this outside outside but no, no, no pasa nada um my yeah to, to move on from peso pluma i feel like peso pluma is um getting into other cultures which is badass and i love that He's doing more reggaeton. He's doing things with El Alfa. I think he did a song with Marshmello that hasn't came out. So Ooh, 
I think I think he's just gonna be bigger than any Mexican because uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I just feel like he's gonna blow up more than any Mexican ever. Wait, has any other Mexican what have has any other Mexican artist been number one on the charts? Mm -mm, not so like what did this. you say? He's uh, he already made that to be like the biggest or no or maybe just his song yeah i mean not him right yeah not just him I, I just want to see longevity i want to see more hits more more collabs just longer not just one year or six months yeah yeah, correct, correct. i want to see this longer like bad bunny he was dominating for four years mm -hmm. so if peso pluma does this then it's bad game. Bunny. and bad bunny's still gr grinding still hustling so that's our opinion about peso pluma let me know down below mm. Go ahead. Do you think Bad Bunny went to <laughs> shit when he got with Kendall? Nah, he's just trying to blow up a little more. Or it started with that cell phone being tossed, The cell right? phone. That's when it started going down, but no pasa nada. He'll be good. Bad Bunny's good. He'll be all right. He's just he's him. just chilling right now. <laughs> Artists be chilling for two, two, three years and then come back. I don't blow know up. why they do that. They get tired. They get tired of touring, which is fine. They can still drop singles so we could jam out. <laughs> Not you... I mean, just... I'm just saying. Just, you're good with Peso Pluma right now, babe. Relax. You're right. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Um, <laughs> wait, how, how long? 16 minutes? Because I miss people like Espinosa Paz. What happened to him? Yeah. You know? Um, Herr Ortiz. Yeah. Like, why they just stop? They yeah. were... I was jamming. You were jamming. It's like you jamming in the car and all of a sudden they... they Pause it right in the middle of you yeah. jamming, and then they never come back. But they, they they did say that now music is so fast that they move on to the next single, next song, next song. But that's their fault. That's the artist's fault for dropping single after single. Because back in the day, all they used to drop is albums, and then you focus on the album for a year, and then you know. But now, single this week and two weeks another single. Yeah, see, pero no pasa nada. It just makes them more viral, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. But yeah, all right. Yeah, enough peso pluma, enough uh, fuerza regia, enough of all that. We're moving on to the next subject, which is the time has come. What? The USDA has approved lab grown meat. Would you eat this? No, that sounds disgusting. So I did a little research. Um, pretty much what they do is they take out cells from chickens, uh -huh. put them into a Why huge. Why would they do that? Perate, put them into a huge, um, what is it? Uh, what is it? A huge tank. Right, and then those reproduce, and then it just somehow becomes meat. That's disgusting. And then they put it into a patty that could become a burger, that could become a, a chicken breast, whatever, whatever animal it is. Who else is doing they, this? Do you know? What do you like mean? China? Or no, something? no. USDA. I don't know where else, but USDA approved I don't know whose it. Idea this was. They're gonna start serving it in San Francisco and in a restaurant in Washington D.C. You'll try Fuck it or what? No. What if it's cheaper? You guys, I'm always trying to go like the cleanest route, holistic, like, you know, the most natural route. Hell no, I'm not going to do that. What if it's lean? I don't even eat canned food from Wait, all the preservatives. What if it's super lean, high protein? Vale madres. You'll hit your macros vale all day, every day. Mothers. <laughs> but yeah. I, no, no, that nah. sounds gross. Like, I don't know. You're fucking with nature too much. Can you imagine, like, now we start becoming zombies because we started eating lab grown meat? I mean, I've always wanted to go through an apocalypse no, or something manches. like that, you know, to see how, <laughs> how far I would make it. But yeah, you guys. Uh, I just know all I need is a sword. A sword? Yeah. Like um, the guy from... Uh, the girl from Walking Dead. Oh, that was her. Not yeah, the guy. The guy. Oh, the sword. guy had like a tiger. Because he ran out of bullets. Mm -hmm. But the sword... You just chopped the zombies' heads off. Yep. Sheesh. All right, you guys. You sharpen it with rocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Just kidding. <laughs> She's been working towards this her whole life. You guys, I love looking at... Uh, movies that yeah, are like the, the end, end of the, the world. world. I always those. type in end of the world. It's funny because we were the last one we watched together was it's the the end of the world started here in Clearwater, Florida, like twenty minutes away. You remember? You don't remember no. that movie? Yeah, it was here, in Florida. I don't know which which movie was it. I watched so many. Yeah. I don't remember Clearwater. Yeah, Florida it was being here in Florida. The world. Yeah, yeah, that's where it started. Well, like the news. You, that point. you probably were like always. Damn, now I want to watch it again. Let me know down below your favorite end of the world movie. Yeah, so I could watch it, please. Oh, never mind. Don't let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Bay loves mu music, movies all the yeah. time. She could watch a movie at least I once watch a, a day. movie every day, at least. Que pinche hueva. Today I won't because it's already 1 in the morning and I have to wake up at 5.30. But... And you have to order your outfits. Oh, my God. I still got to. All right, guys. God. That's it for yeah, today. Don't get it, guys. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to edit this podcast. We're super excited for you guys to see you guys in Houston. It's going to be lit. Yeah. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Houston. It's literally three days away. Three days. Um, <sighs> we might even, we might even Sorry. stay for Fourth of July. You just never know. No, 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 no. My <laughs> no, mom would kill me. We got we our flights. Uh, we'll be. We land on Friday. We leave on Monday. But it's gonna be a long weekend. No sleep. Team no yeah, sleep. Yeah, team no sleep. Rockham has us booked back to back. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're, we're excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's something I'm looking forward for the weekend, but I got a lot of work to do. We actually shot um, new t-shirts. We went to a photo shoot today. Lily Bay was a main, main, uh, what is it, model on there. What? I wouldn't say I was a main model. <laughs> so, so make sure you Mando go download the- recruited me to um, do yeah, a photo really shoot knowing- I hate doing photo shoots, but I was like, fuck it, let's go, I guess. It is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, go show love. Um, go download the Guadis app so you can go get the first dips on the new shirts. And if you want to be a Guadis model and are here okay. in the Tampa Bay or surrounding areas, guys or girls, I am always, always looking for models mm -hmm. and people are down. We do have some girls that are kind of like our go-tos yeah. that we can use uh and ask them all the time but not always are they available so for those times is when i need backups and other girls to be down or guys especially guys i feel like girls ya tengo muchas pero Gr guys is hard pero guys is super hard so if you guys are here or know somebody that will be down around the ages of 18 to 28 mm -hmm. por ahí um let us know let us know because we're down <laughs> let's go all right you guys thanks for joining us on this beautiful wednesday we'll see you guys next wednesday um close it out babe close it out yeah you guys like always thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys on the next one bye see ya